Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. This is Janice May and today we are going to do a tutorial on the mandala pendant. So I'm talking faster because I don't want this to be a long video. So that's the mandala pendant that was posted on my Facebook and uh, I want to try to make it as simple and as easy as possible so let's begin you might be wondering why i have a campbell soup here i use this as a template so that's what you need to do depending on how long the beads you want to be using that's how uh that would be the size diameter of your um uh, mandala or of your template so just to describe briefly um, it's it's like that there's like a hole here in the middle and uh, this is the circle and you will be using 24 gauge wire for the outer because you need to to be a little heavy and you need uh, I'm sorry, 22 gauge for outer and 24 gauge for inner. And to uh, attach the beads on here, you need um, the softer. This is 28 gauge wire. The other thing you can do is already just take, you know how they sell those uh, metal bracelet, gold, gold or silver, you can probably um, find them at the 99 cent store uh, that's also uh, a good thing to use because it's already made as opposed to you having to make it so let's start um, first you need to take the wire so let's say you need uh, two feet of the 24 gauge wire you are making the circle here the outer circle um, I always just estimate things and I don't measure unless I have to so then what you need to do is form it here okay so you also need to choose a rim where it will easily come off so just like using a ring mandrel this is your mandrel except they are it's it's huge <laughs> okay so maybe about two or three uh, times around there okay so then you take it out um, okay so like so so now that you have that you will wrap the remaining wire around it Sometimes if it gets too hard to just use your fingers, I suggest to use your chain nose pliers. So now you have your base uh, or the bangle. So there's still that tail sticking out, but that's fine. We will cover it once we uh, attach the beads so you want to make sure that it's still the same round shape I'll just uh, go back and put it on here and yeah and make sure that you know it's rounded so 
Next thing is you take your the softer wire for the center. This is the 24 gauge. And I just take whatever uh, things lying around to be your center. You just want to make sure that um, it will be it will accommodate the size and shape of the beads that you're using. So let's say I I'm, I use a Sharpie. For this one, I use something else that was just on my desk at home. So I'll just grab whatever I can use. So again, the same idea with the that you just maybe coil it around three times and then take it out so now it's like this and then wrap this around it sometimes it's hard to to get the wire from under you can use your pliers or for this one I use the crochet hook to get the wire from under so now we have our rings so as you can see so the center is I made it a little smaller which which is what you should do also to give allowance because even if that's a little smaller it would still just come out um, to be the exact thing so this is the beads that i have i'd like uh, a little green tone on there for saint patrick's day happy saint patrick's everyone so yes yeah, so this what i'm using is the one inch the one inch uh, paper beads. So you see there's a little room on there, a little space for your wires. So basically that's what you're gonna be doing using the softer wire. And for the center, I, uh, I have three possibilities here. It can be that turtle, which is super cute. Let me see. Oh, might be too big. Uh, or this glass bead, or this one. Just this is the same crystal I use for this. I'll probably go with this. Seems like that's the perfect choice. So then I cut about three feet of the softer 28 gauge wire. Um, because if we run out, we can just uh, add if it gets too long and it kinks and you keep straightening it and pulling it it can go get weak and can break so I will take the smaller ring and just attach this in the middle I mean um, the the center of your three feet wire okay so now it's like this let me just there is really no pattern. Your instinct will guide you on how to do this. Okay. It's a mandala after all. So, okay. Now that you have anchored that on there, you can start uh, attaching your paper beads. So, like this. And then you take your bigger ring and then just wire around wrap once back up, up twice and then you will this is the the most important thing that you need to learn i guess and then um bring it back out here like so i can see the wire coming out it can be tricky if the hole is not big enough there it is 
okay so you pull this and uh, then you have the tricky part is the first bead basically okay and then you do another one pull it you hear it click like that you do another one so I'm just gonna go this way it doesn't matter where you want to go and again put your bead I'm just going to show you one more time and then I'll take you off camera and I'll do the rest or we're going to be here for more than an hour or an hour. This doesn't really take long. It's just uh, the first the first one would be a little tricky. Okay, one and bring it up again it up again and then do the same thing put it over here and and down so when it's like this sometimes when it kinks and it it kinks bad you just need to cut the tip off because you want to have a clean for some reason, this is not going through. There it is. And then that's what you need to do. Just go around and around, okay? So here's another tip. So to get my the ring balance, your beads balance, I walk the other uh, wire, the other half towards the opposite side of where I started. So this way, uh, there's like, you can anchor your, your uh, smaller ring right there. Right there, and then um, attach a bead. So this way, it, uh, it's more or less pulled on that side, like that. Do the same thing. So I want to show you when you're about to, uh, you run out of wire. So I'm just going to end it here and attach a new uh, wire on the small ring. You always attach it in the small ring. So what you need to do is to end this wire I'll just go around twice like so and then go through the bead like you always do as usual and then this one is going in the back for some reason and then I will just pull it snug, make sure it's all the way in. And then I will just snip that off very close. Make sure you don't cut the other wire. So there you go. And then you take another piece maybe just a smaller piece this time, and then do the same thing. Just attach it to the smaller ring like you did, and like so. This thing has a mind of its own. It just likes to curl up and kink. <laughs> and then now you're ready to bead again so I can just walk that wire through here but I think this might not be enough so it's a good thing that we have this so now we are about to end this mandala there's just like one space right there and they just adjust so this is obviously a bigger mandala than this one this is about let me see 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. 17 beads, that has 15. And a smaller one that I made, um, I think this is about 15 also. So this is uh, the 3 4 inch beads. This is the 1 inch and that's the 1 inch. So anyway, let's finish this baby up and it's the same thing uh, when you end a wire just go round and round over this and then pull it through there and then cut the string off now it's very important because I've made that mistake when I'm cutting the string off I accidentally cut the other that other strings when you're not supposed to